Hey there guys, it's Lee here. In today's video, I'm going to be upgrading the El Cheapo Ethereum miner. So this is a video that I've uh, wanted to do for a little while, well over a month. Um, unfortunately, when I ordered the original parts to do the actual um, upgrade, basically taking the El Cheapo miner from a two card rig up to a four card rig, um, I had some problems with the um, hardware that arrived. So the the basis of the build is a R7370, so it's got two R7370s, and I wanted to take that up to uh, four cards. So what I did was um, I purchased another two R7370s, bringing the total up to four, so that was great. Um, and then I needed a, uh, another motherboard because the first one that I purchased was just from a workstation and it only supported um, two graphics cards. Um, but in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is putting the whole lot together so it's a four card Ethereum mining rig. So in order to do that, I've had to buy some new uh, components and this time I've bought a whole new uh, bunch of um, new stuff. Well, not a whole new bunch, but the essential components, but they are new uh, rather than some. So uh, I'll take you through the actual um, hardware. So I'll just start from the uh, top of the pile, what I've got here. So like I said, the actual, sorry about that, it might be a bit crispy on the microphone. Um, so the GPUs that we're going to be using is this uh, MSI uh, R7 370. So this is what one of those uh, looks like. This is also the four gigabyte version. So that should be good for mining Ethereum for a very long time or even when Ethereum stops uh, and changes to, to proof of stake. Um, I'll be able to use these graphics cards for other things or resell them. So that's the uh, MSI R7 370 four gigabyte. So I now have a total of uh, four of those. So I'm just going to pop that to the side there. Here's the second one here. And then the other two are, like I say, they're already sort of uh, up and running uh, currently in the shed. Uh, we have the motherboard that I'm actually going to be using for this rig is the ASRock H81 Pro BTC. It's a really highly rated uh, motherboard and a lot of people using this for um, all sorts of uh, GPU mining rigs. Um, I've not actually had a look inside the box or anything yet, but we'll be taking a closer look at that um, shortly. So that's the actual motherboard that we're gonna be running everything on. Um, it actually supports up to six graphics cards. So there's a bit of future expansion as well. And then the actual processor is just this uh, cheapy Celeron. So it's a G1840. Um, and that's basically like the cheapest seller you can get. I think you can also get a 1830 and a 1820, but just shop around um, and you'll find, you know, whatever one is the best price, um, order that one. So I'll put links to those. Um, I purchased these off uh, Amazon. Um, I think the processor was about 35 and the mobile board, I think was also about 65 uh, pounds. Um, so they're pretty uh, reasonably priced, you know, about 100 pounds for the, the CPU and the mobile board uh, combined there. So they're good. I'll link to those in the description. And then I've just got some uh, DDR3 RAM there. I've got two two gig sticks. So that brings up to four gigs, which will be fine for um, the Ethereum mining rig. So that's the hardware that I'm going to be doing there. Um, and then what I'll do from here on, um, I think I'll show you the current existing setup as it is uh, in my actual shed. Uh, then I think we'll do uh, the motherboard um, build put together. Um, and then I think I'll probably do a complete build, but actually indoors, uh, I think I'm going to do that before I actually take it um, outside, just because I don't want to be kind of going in and out of the shed and stuff like that, um, you know, if there's any sort of um, uh, issues. or. Okay, so let's take a look at the ASRock H81 Pro BTC. Okay, so here's the actual uh, board itself. So you can see it's actually got six PCI Express connectors, uh, five uh, one times connectors, and then one 16 times uh, connector there. You've also got a extra power connector on the actual motherboard, it's a Molex power connector. So that helps distribute power across all these uh, uh, PCI Express connectors rather than just pulling it through the actual uh, board itself. A pretty basic board just with lots of PCI Express connectors which is exactly what we want.
Okay, so I'm just gonna get this rig set up over in this corner. Um, it's obviously indoors, just really so I can shake out any bugs or glitches or anything that's not running right before I actually sort of uh, put it back outside uh, in a cooler environment. So let's get on with the uh, build. Okay guys, so I've just put this uh, rig together and we're almost about ready to go, but I thought we'd just take a quick sort of fly around it. So, Okay, so we're a little cramped in the corner over here, so I can't kind of really get the camera into the angles that I would like, but um, yeah, this is what we've got. So we've got four R7-370s. Okay, so I'm just going to do the very first power up test. So hopefully it all goes good and we don't see any flames fire. Okay, so we've got some power. I can see um, all the GPU fans are spinning, CPU fans spinning. Okay, cool. All right, so we've actually, I've got it actually connected to, let's just move the camera. Uh, basically, there's a notice that I need to connect the 4-pin power connector on the actual motherboard. Um, I didn't do that originally because um, the actual PCI Express uh, connectors themselves um, do have a power connector on them, so I decided not to actually uh, connect those. Okay, so I just decided to actually skip that warning message and um, continue on uh, because the actual PCI Express connectors um, already have like a secondary power input anyway, so I think we should be good to go without those. Well, hopefully we'll be mining when all these damn Windows updates stop. Okay guys, so just in that last little section, um, I was just uh, getting the actual miner uh, running, um, but I could only actually get three of the actual graphics cards working at first, so I had to do a reset, and what I did was just uh, replug and reseat all the PCI Express connectors, check the power connectors, uh, just make sure everything was in place um, and um, as it should be. Um, it was uh, upon rebooting, um, the Windows detected all the actual uh, graphics cards from that point onwards. I just got the miner started, it was all looking good, um, but then unfortunately I actually had to pop out for quite a few hours. Um, just going to see some friends and family and such. Um, so I've now got back in, um, it's actually quite a few hours later, it's actually um, early evening now. Um, and But the actual miner has been running really well. So you can see on the actual screen we've got the ETH miner. So you can see all four of the actual graphics cards there are running. I just left it for the initial test. I've just left everything at standard stock clocks. I'm not pushing it too hard. I'm also I'm, you know, in quite a small room here as well, so I don't want the room to get too hot or put too much pressure on the system. Um, just a, a first sort of test. Um, but we're getting just over 50 mega hashes um, across all the four cards. So it's looking really good. The actual temperatures, uh, if you just take a look at the MSI afterburner, um, like I say, stock clocks on there, and the the hottest card is 76, 77, 72, and 66, which will be the card um, on the end there. So it's all looking really good. Uh, and the main thing that I was looking for is just make sure that they don't get too hot, and that the actual um, the hash rate was good, and also that the machine didn't shut down or bug out or anything like that. So it all looks nice and stable and steady, and I'm really pleased with it. So yeah, we're all looking good. So I think that just about concludes this actual video. Um, what I'll do is I'll do a follow-up video to this and it'll be more um, detailed clock settings and um, the actual performance of the actual machine. We'll take a look at the electric uh, efficiency and that kind of stuff. Um, and I'll do that in a follow-up video. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, um, don't hesitate to ask and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. And uh, thanks for watching.
Till next time, guys. Take care. See ya.